Hi, this is Brian from quantlabs.net. Something I wanted to show you uh, that I finally figured out using MATLAB, um, the conversion using uh, Builder NE, the toolbox for uh, converting the uh, .NET uh, or, or converting from a M script file into a .NET so you have a C sharp application talk to it. It's pretty hairy what, how MathWorks is set up this uh, situation. Um, not uh, completely happy with it, but uh, this is my only option. Um, what you'll find in the help uh, is, a, is a document under the MATLAB Builder NE. There's an example on how to deploy finding this and online other outside of uh, MATLAB 2011A was pretty tough to find, but it is written to help. But all in all, I just want to show you how um, this works. All the uh, files and demo files I'm about to show you are part of the uh, MATLAB um, uh, environment. So let me show you what we're dealing with here. Um, as part of the examples, they say to uh, put a um, the copy of the magic square example under their uh, under their uh, uh, toolbox for .NET Builder uh, is one of the examples of the one that they use. Copy into a temporary uh, folder, which I did dot called .NET Builder. Um, this is my own I I testing. Uh, my own testing uh, environment here, um, but nonetheless, uh, this is where the magic square comp, um, the M file resides. Um, this right here is the M file, so let me just show you that. I'm just going to give you sh a visual of how this uh, works. Um, so um, people can save a lot of time. So right there is a make square um, M file or function and uh, basically what you're doing is just uh, basic uh, um, function I'll show you the source code it's very simple but uh, it, it's a good starting point to show you how to convert um, a file uh, an M script and have it talk to the uh, your C sharp application um, but you'll see how hairy it can be anyways this is a simple function um, just calls this magic function, pretty simple. Um, and then you just do a deploy tool, basically, uh, which will take you to this uh, GUI uh, on the uh, builder or .NET assembly. Um, this is something I need to show you. Um, as you can tell in here, under type, there's many different options. So right now I'm using the .NET assembly. Um, and this is it here, um, the .NET assembly. So you create a, in my case, a make square project. <coughs> uh, if you need the help on that, it's pretty simple. Um, <coughs> to create the, uh, to create the, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the project um, with the deploy tool, the .NET assembly, uh, you, there is a link uh, that shows you how to do that. Um, that's part of the help. Um, I'm just looking for it uh, somewhere here, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. I, but I, I, let me just show you that. All right, so you create a, a project called Make Square PRG, create a class ML Test Case, uh, and then you add the file. And in that case, it's obviously this Make Square M file. Uh, it'll package it up, create your DLL and your native DLL basic readme file and you build okay that takes a little bit of time and then it will create a um, new folder called make square and I'll create a source file um, and then you also will get your distribution file here as well so what I did was um, in my C sharp application and this is where it gets kind of hairy there are some examples um, in this case let me show you that uh, under the magic square example, there's this magic square CS app. There's all this stuff. Um, I don't know what version of uh, Visual Studio it is, um, but I'm currently using Visual Studio 2010, the ultimate version. Um, and I make some small changes to it. Uh, as you can tell, um, the default is not this. I've had to create my uh, uh, 
project file called MakeSquare, um, which was the same as uh, this guy right here. So that's what's going to be imported. Um, and then from there, uh, you need to create your uh, class. This is the same uh, C sharp uh, file that is from that example that, that I just showed you, this uh, Magic Square C uh, CS app, but the new 2010 obviously will convert it into uh, its own uh, project uh, uh, solution, as well as, um, you know, it's pretty well the same, but I just had to make some slight um, uh, coding changes. So instead of uh, instantiating with, with this class, uh, I just used my own class that I used to build when I built the uh, project so let me go back to that so here it said ml test class that's a class that I defined in from within MATLAB and that's what I'm naming here so it's creating this uh, ml test class magic um, and everything else is the same so essentially when you look at the code um, you need to use a try catch um, you need to create two um, MW numeric arrays. Oh, and that also includes uh, your references. So when you come into your Visual Studio, you got to add the reference. So um, obviously, I use the distrib make square, um, and uh, that can be found uh, under here, under your distrib make square dll, right here under your make square comp. Um, but what I did notice is that um, when you do add it, it will bitch about um, not being um, up to date with the .NET framework. So you have to update it uh, by coming into your uh, project uh, project properties. And then uh, let me see where it is. Um, yeah, I can't remember, but you have to uh, update your .NET framework to the current one, which in my case is .NET 4. Um, so it's somewhere in here. Um, but uh, once you find it, you upgrade it, then you can um, create, uh, do your build. Um, and once you do your build, obviously in my case, uh, I have a successful build right here. And you can run it. But... Um, when you do run it in a debug, it throws some kind of uh, strange exception. There's no worries on it. Um, but I just did a, a, a release uh, in the release mode. Um, navigated to the proper uh, release uh, folder under the uh, Visual Studio Solution project, um, which is obviously right here. Um, and then you can run it. So in my case, Magic Square CS app. What you'll notice is really slow, um, and that's because I guess it's communicating with the uh, MATLAB uh, MCR, the uh, compiler runtime. So, for anybody doing what I'm planning to do to drop um, any of your functions, this is the only advantage this this method gives you is when you come under your project. Uh, settings um, right here you can see toolboxes look at all the toolboxes that is supported using this method obviously includes the fixed income financial uh, your statistical your economics centrics econometrics statistical so virtually all the functions are, are supported using this methodology as opposed to if you've seen one of my other MATLAB coder um, ways of doing it. Um, that that coder toolbox does not support any of the functions coming out of the uh, other toolboxes. So this is a good methodology to use to uh, drop your uh, MATLAB code and have it communicate within your, let's say, your C-sharp application. Um, and uh, you, that could obviously be your, your trading platform. But again, um, I do want you to realize how slow it is. Um, it's not the smartest way of doing it. Um, I don't know why it's slow, but I'm assuming it's uh, uh, just due to the fact that it's got to set up the initiate the MCR uh, as well. So be aware of that. Um, but 
ultimately, uh, if you are going to convert MATLAB M files, um, your best still your best option is still going through the MATLAB coder toolbox. But the unfortunate part is when you do your MATLAB coding uh, in your M script files, that you'll have to avoid all the uh, functions that come from the financial, derivative, fixed income, all those type of toolboxes. You won't be able to use those functions. So in essence, you'll have to hand code your own algorithms. And then from there, uh, use the MATLAB coder to convert into your C++, which in essence is going to be much faster than going through this way as well. And obviously, it's going to be a lot more portable as well if you do want to move from, let's say, uh, Windows to Linux or Unix or whatever. So it is a portable way of doing it. It's just a real pain in the ass is obviously coding up your models and algorithms and just plain raw um, MATLAB code without using the uh, MATLAB functional uh, toolboxes or your, like I said, your, your statistical economic metrics or uh, financial derivative or fixed income toolboxes. So those are your options. I'm hoping this helps you out. Um, this will radically improve my um, workflow and showing you how this can be done now. Um, as I said, just the limitation for uh, research or paper trading or just doing something non-production that's not trading, that's not going up against live data. This is a good way um, and a good quick and dirty way of getting stuff up and running. But once you do go into a production mode, like I said, you have to do your raw um, models or your raw coding for your models and algorithms from within MATLAB use going through the uh, coder to generate your C++. So two good options depending upon your uh, uses. Um, I'm hoping this will help you out and I'll talk to you later.